First things first, we're going to create the AI background music. And in case you have made some music of in AI, there are many different kinds of uh, apps that, that do it, like Suno AI. So we're going to create a background music for a dungeon RPG um, fantasy. Let's go and create this. Now this is created really quickly and if you have your own AI made music like with Udio AI or Suno AI, you can just send it to me and I will try to select some and put them into my next videos and you will get some uh, quick footnote that this music is made by you. So let's listen to this one. Dark epic orchestral atmospheric. The shadow quest. Let's go. I love it. So we're going to run this music in the background of this video. And now let's go and head right into Gemini 1.5 trying to kill us. So for this to work, we need a prompt and I posted this in the last video. And we just copy this and put it one to one into Gemini. And let's see what Gemini 1.5 Pro is capable of. Gorthal Ironhide, a half-orc barbarian hailing from the desolate spine of the world mountains. Your tribe was renowned for their ferocity and survival in harsh conditions. Very cool. So we have our character sheet again with hit points not 12. It's not so much again. Uh, and our campaign is... A, our journey begins in the treacherous frost-laden peaks of Icewind Dale, a region known for its harsh blizzards and unforgiving terrain. Whispers of an ancient artifacts rumored to hold immense power have drawn you to this desolate land. So we want to grab a hold of this artifact and I love artifacts, I love equipment, I love those RPGs where we can just get super strong like level 1000. Let's go. Chapter 1. The Howling Wilderness. The wind bites at your exposed skin as you trudge through the snow-covered valley. You are alone, save for the howling wind and the occasional shriek of a hungry ice troll. Well, that's comforting. <laughs> the path ahead is treacherous, with hidden crevices and icy slopes. So, our actions are free text or ABC. They're, well, that's perfect. So I prompted it exactly to, 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 to do it like this and we can now have our first comparison to gpt 40 because it was able to detect stupid decisions and we can just say run ahead and see if we can get along without taking care With a wild yell, you charge headlong into the blizzard. The snow whips around you, stinging your face and obscuring your vision. You stumble over unseen obstacles, but your sturdy legs keep you upright. Okay, so we saw that JetGPT 4.0 was a bit smarter here. It said running headlong into this danger is not the smartest decision. And it does a dexterity check. I know that some of you said that checking or rolling a dice for you in AI is not really random. And I know that you have to like run the Python script and add this to the AI. But yeah, I wanted to one to one compare these and I will implement those really random dice rolls in the future. Your reckless charge carries you forward, but you suddenly find yourself plunging through the snow into a hidden crevice. The icy walls scrape against your body as you fall, the impact drawing your bones. Damage 3, current hit points 9. You land in a heap at the bottom, bruised and battered, so now have to get out of here. The fall has left you with a deep gash on your arm, oozing blood. The pain is intense, but you know you must find a way out of this icy tomb. So now it didn't give us any options. So again, I need to say this is a point for GPT-40. Um, but I guess that Gemini 1.5 Pro is not meant to be the most... It's very versatile with a high or long story of um, input tokens. Like you could put a whole world in the background. 
That's the weakness of GPT-40, but in r pure storytelling and following the script, I think that I notice right now that GPT-40 might have the lead here. So let's see what we can do. Um, I see tomb. Oh, it's again a tomb where we are stuck in. <laughs> what equipment do I have? As a barbarian, you have the folding equipment. A great axe, two hand axes, some armor, a plotter, explorer's pack, a set of bone dice for gambling. <laughs> That's funny. Pouch of dried meat, water skin. Okay, my actions are assess the crevice walls for handholds or ledges. Search through your explorer's pack for useful items. Attempt to climb out using your bare hands and feet. Yell for help! I don't think that yelling for help might work in this case. Like, seriously, like, we're in the blizzard. Who, who should come and help us? Um, if it now gives us a, an, a response like, here's your helping hand that was always there for you, it's like, very plain and yeah not very deep your powerful lungs manage to project your voice through the storm after a few agonizing moments you hear a faint response a muffled shout carried out on the wind a rope descends yeah come on like seriously <laughs> so that's what i wanted to say if there is yeah and I wouldn't give us this option for no reason and obviously it gave us this reason to cry for help and to make it uh, to make it possible for us to escape the situation. <laughs> and now I have the uh, the option to choose if I want to grasp the rope or ask for the, for our assistance or unsure to trust the stranger like seriously should I not go up there? Of course we grasp the rope and attempt to climb out. With the grunt of determination, you grasp the rope and begin to haul yourself upwards. Your wounded arm protests, but you grit your teeth and ignore the pain. Strength check with disadvantage due to injury. Okay, this is the first point for Gemini 1.5 Pro because we now have a disadvantage in our check and JetGPT40 didn't include this because we prompted it to include like injuries and give us a disadvantage, but it didn't. And now Gemini does this, and I'm really proud of you. So if you could have the mixture of you both, I would be really happy. Your weakened muscles struggle against the weight of your body and the slippery rope. You manage to gain a few feet, but your grip falters and you slide back down, the rope burning your hands. <gasps> we got a little bit of damage and it's reasonable. You land back at the bottom, your breath coming in ragged grasps. So now, what would do we do if we cannot even get out of here with the rope? Like, uh, I would love to see what kind of person there is. So please help me. I call. I call out. Help! You cry out. Your voice hoarse and weak. I mean, help! I can't hold you. I uh, I can't hold on. <laughs> the figure above leans over the edge of the crevice, their face barely visible through the swirling snow. Grab hold, they shout, lowering the rope once more. This time you reach out with your good arm and manage to grasp the rope securely. With a struggle of adrenaline, you wrap your legs around the rope and begin to climb. Like there is no help. Dude, strength check with disadvantage 13. Despite the pain in your arm and the numbness in your fingers, you manage to pull yourself up inch by inch. Yeah, I now get what you mean. Like. They put this dice roll in to give you like a wrong feeling of immersiveness. Uh, so we really need to work on this. The figure above braces their feet against the edge of the crevice, their muscles straining as they hold up you upwards. Ah, okay, so they are helping us in fact. I, I'm sorry, I misjudged you. After what feels like an eternity, you reach the top and collapse onto the snow-covered ground, grasping for air. You re rescuer offers a hand. Okay, face to face with the dwarf, clad in furs and leather armor. He has a weathered face and piercing blue eyes that seems to assess you instantly. You're lucky I was passing you. Like, he grunts his voice, gruff but not unkind. What were you doing out in this blizzard anyway? 
So, man, I want to know what you are doing. Thanks for the help. But first, please tell me. What are you doing up here? I will tell you when I have my breath back. So now he has to respond first. The draft chuckles a low rumble in his chest. Name's Grimnir. He says, extending a colorless hand, I'm a tapper, trapper. Set some snares for snow hires up here, of course. Didn't expect to find a half orc dangling in a crevice, though. He gestures forward a rough hewn sled nearby, laden with furs and supplies. Was just about to head back to ten towns when I heard your cries. Lucky for you, I guess. Like, he's just helping a, har helping a half orc. Doesn't he know that orcs and dwarves are not the best friends? Jimnir, eyes your wounded arm. That looks nasty. Let's get you patched up before you freeze to death. He rummages through a pack on his sled, pulling out a roll of bandages. This will sting, he warns before putting the liquor over your wound. Constitution saving throw. You wince as the liquid burns. Like, if I wouldn't have made it, he wouldn't even be able to treat me. <laughs> That's funny. There he says, stepping back. That should hold on for the moment. Know about the story of yours. Like, he has supplies, he has maybe food, and we have an axe and a double, two double axe, small axes. So, I guess you know what's up. We're trying to get a grasp onto his sled and his supplies. I'm sorry, buddy, for saying thanks for saving me, though. Um, I attack him with my axes and steal his supplies let's see how this, how this works out such an action would be foolish and dangerous Grimnir just save your life and attacking him would likely result in your own demise remember you're severely wounded and outnumbered I'm outnumbered really are there even more people up here well okay that's another point for Gemini 1.5 Pro because I thought with the wounded arm and now with being so exhausted I would actually pretty much be uh, prey to him so very well done <laughs> uh, thanks for warning me but still I really would like to attack him let's see what happens a wave of rage rage washes over you you will buy the pain and the lingering effects of the fall. You ignore all reason and lunge at Grimnir, your hand axes flashing in the dim light. Surprise round, initiative roll. Okay, maybe we can attack first and maybe get a hold of him. You catch Grimnir off guard, your sudden attack taking him by surprise. Attack roll with advantage 20. I think that's a critical roll. The first hand axis strikes true, burying itself deep in Grimnir's shoulder. He cries out in pain, his eyes widening in shock and disbelief. He's such a bad person. Damage 8. Before he can react, you swing your other hand axe. Ah, oh, now I feel bad. Aiming her for his exposed neck. But he wanted to do something reckless, I guess. Attack roll 14. The axe misses its mark, glancing off Grimnir's thick fur. He stumbles backward, clutching his wounded shoulder, his face contorted in anger. You ungrateful cur! He roars, drawing wicked looking dagger from his belt. You'll pay for that. Now he attacks us. <gasps> he has a 19 and does 4 damage to us. Man, that's not good. It's my turn. So, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Attack with both hand axes again at full final force. Let's see how we can react. With a furl roar, you disregard the pain and fling both hand axes at Grimnir with all your remaining strength. So we have again a disadvantage, but we roll a 17, which is really good. Like, the first X whizzes past Grimnir's head, not really missing its target. Tech roll with disadvantage due to Inridium 9. Second X also goes wide. I mean, come on! Grimnir, seeing your desperation, grins cruelly. Is that all you've got, orc? Pathetic. Now he's attacking us. He lunges again, his dagger blur in the dim light. I guess Gemini 1.5 did it. Attack roll 16. The dagger finds its mark once more, more plunging deep into your side. 
Damage six. Urgh, you collapse to the ground, your vision fading, the last thing you see in Grimnir's triumphant face looming over you. Gorsal's Ironhide is dead. Okay, that is putting it right there in my face. The hard winds of Icewind Dale howl as Grimnir stands over his your lifeless body. He retrieves his dagger, wipes it clean on your furs and spits on your corpse. Should have known better than to cross with a dwarf, he mutters before turning and disappearing through the blizzard. You quest for the ancient artifacts and here, in the frozen waves, wastes of Icewind Dale. Your story is one of the recklessness and betrayal. Blah 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 blah. Well, really well done to Gemini 1.5. This was just the first test. And yes, don't worry, we're going to play through one of the campaigns in the future where I don't do those reckless actions and we're actually trying to retrieve those artifacts, right? I hope that you enjoyed and I see you all in the next video. Bye bye.